Jacob Hogard, the former lead singer for the band Headley, has been sentenced to five years in prison for sexual assault. CBC's Lisa Shing was outside the courtroom when Ontario Superior Court Justice Gillian Roberts delivered her sentence. And Lisa has the latest. Well, Natasha, as soon as the judge announced her decision of five years in prison, she allowed Jacob Hogard to get up and uh, talk to his wife. And so I could hear uh, him mouth, I love you. And they hugged for uh, quite a long time. And, and when they parted, I could tell that she was in tears uh, uh, at this news. And he said, I'll see you soon. And after this really long embrace, uh, he walked back up and uh, had handcuffs uh, put on his wrists and was led away. Uh, and so all of this morning, we heard the judge's uh, reasons for this five-year sentencing decision. Uh, she essentially said that she believes uh, the woman from Ottawa, whose identity is under a publication ban, uh, said, I believe her, I accept her evidence in its entirety. And also said that even though he's no longer a rock star, uh, it couldn't be guaranteed that he wouldn't uh, re-offend, essentially. Uh, I'll read a quick quote from her saying one thing that is clear from this trial it is that there are many sides to Mr. Hogard charismatic and talented rock star manipulative rapist and caring and loyal friend husband father and worker the full picture must be recognized and considered at sentencing now uh, the justice also said uh, that the sentence must send a message to the public as well uh, uh, hoping that the sends a message uh, for survivors of sex assault who are considering uh, coming forward. Uh, the Crown also echoed that and here's what one of the Crown lawyers had to say about that. We can only prosecute if we have survivors who will attend to the authorities but these are difficult cases and we appreciate that. Uh, Mr. Hogard's conviction and sentence sends a message to the community that sexual violence will not be tolerated by our community by anyone. And her final words to uh, Jacob Hogard in the courtroom uh, from the judge was, I wish you the best of luck. Lisa, there were complications with the trial, amongst them delays because of the pandemic. Just recap for us what we went through to get to today. Yeah, the trial was actually four years in the making because uh, of delays due to the pandemic. Now, uh, finally, it started uh, in spring of this year in May. Uh, it was a month long trial. It took a while. Uh, the, a lot of uh, details uh, came out uh, that I won't repeat, but uh, about uh, rapes, uh, uh, the rape of the Ottawa woman uh, as well. And so the jury itself took six days to uh, deliberate and come to uh, a verdict and it was difficult for them uh, you could tell because twice they were deadlocked and uh, were encouraged by the judge to keep trying they asked many questions uh, namely around consent so uh, it was uh, there were a lot of details that they had to parse through and ultimately um, they found uh, Jacob Hogard guilty of one count of sex assault causing bodily harm but acquitted him of another charge uh, involving a the same charge involving a teenager. So that was all in the spring that ended in early June. And now we find ourselves uh, today at the sentencing. Uh, Jacob Hogard right now uh, is in a holding cell at a lower level at the courthouse here. Uh, later this afternoon, uh, there will be a bail hearing, a virtual bail hearing to and where his defense lawyers will argue that he should be released pending an appeal, Natasha. CBC's Lisa Shing in Toronto.